Hello everyone, and welcome to a very special Photoshop tutorial edition of Gwavin Booth's The Blog. Today we're gonna concentrate on Adobe Photoshop CS6. Comes with the uh, Creative Suite in the Adobe series. What is this? What, what is this? What's going on today? It's a Photoshop tutorial day. That's today? Yeah, that's today. Boring. Uh, I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Oh, uh, okay. Can you make me one? What do you want? Uh, bologna and cheese. Okay. Hey, great, thanks. Okay, so we actually set up a Photoshop file for you and you can download it in the description area of this video. If you open that up, you've got uh, a couple of different layers here. Let's uh, actually enable the background layer right there. You'll notice that the picture frame is blank. Click the little unhide button next to the picture layer. Look who's in there. Surprise! It's Bob Ross. But you don't have to use Bob Ross. You can use any picture you want. Any of your favorite people. Hey, hey. Hey, what? hey, what? We can use any picture we want? Yeah. Put Macho Man Randy Savage but in the we picture got, But we got Bob Ross. I don't care. I want to see Macho Man. Uh, put him in there. Come on, do it, do it. Okay, this is a good thing. I'm actually glad that this happened so I could show you how to put your own photo inside the picture frame. What you do is you open up whatever file you want to put in there and then you copy right here. Go into the other document and you can paste right there and then resize it to fit inside the picture frame. Okay, everyone, you'll notice there's a layer that's titled Main Element. It's, uh, if you unhide it, look at that, there's Fafa. Hi, everybody! But I actually don't want to use this element today. Bye, everybody! In that package you downloaded, there's a gorilla.jpg file that you can just kind of drag in here. Mm. But you'll notice that the background is green, so we're going to have to get rid of that. Go to Select, Color Range, and use the eyedropper to select a green area. Once you've selected the color, hit delete, and there we go. Now, since we added this gorilla, he's been added to our layer section on the right here. Let's take a look at the little trash icon on the bottom of this window. If you want to get rid of a layer, you could just drag it to the trash icon and it'll go away. <clears throat> now, gorilla just demonstrated how to trash a layer. I'm going to hit undo, though, because we do want our background... <clears throat> Okay, Gorilla doesn't seem to be a fan of the background layer, so let's just hide that layer so we can keep Gorilla happy. And you may notice that on our blog, a lot of times we have more than one Gorilla. One way to achieve that is by duplicating the layer. Simply go to the layer window again and drag the Gorilla layer on top of the new layer icon. Slide him over a little bit. Now you got two Gorillas. <laughs> Let's make a third gorilla, shall we? Drag that layer down, duplicate layer, and here we go. Look at that, three gorillas! You notice they're very loud, they're actually making a lot of noise, that's okay, you don't have to worry about it too much, it's a very simple solution. Mute the audio on the computer right there, and you'll see, I mean, they're still very animated, but they're quiet now. One of the problems with multiple gorillas is that they tend to get agitated when there are a lot of them. So what we're going to do is get rid of two of the copies that we just made. First one you can do is hide the layer. Just click the eyeball right there, and there goes one. And then the second one we're actually going to throw in the trash like we showed you before. And there he goes. All right. And now we're going to make sure our gorilla's happy. We're going to unmute the mute button. Gorilla, you happy? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna put him in a tutu. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is unhide the tutu layer over here, and yeah. then you bring the pointer yeah. on over. Yeah. Okay, so Gorilla just ate the yeah. pointer. This happens a lot. I actually figured out a workaround. If you hit Command, Tab, and Shift from application to application, when you return the Photoshop, then the pointer will come back. Okay. Um, so there's a pointer, just keep it away from the gorilla. Let me go to the tutu lay over here and just drag it onto gorilla's waist right there. Now this tutu's blue. I want to make it pink. Okay, go up to image, adjustments, and then hue, saturation. Move the slider until the color turns pink and okay. Now let's make it permanent. What you're gonna do is go to your two layers, select the tutu layer and gorilla layer, and we're gonna merge them down into one single layer. And that's gonna keep them permanent. So he won't be able to take... What? Uh-oh. 
Photoshop tutorial for today.